Let's take a look at the line graphs questions. They are all calculator questions, although realistically there's probably only one question where you'd actually use it. So number one, we need to complete a line graph. So we've already got uh, a mark in for midnight and 4 a.m. So these are both done. 2 a.m. is seven degrees. So 2 a.m., let's go up to seven, which is between the six and the eight. So that is there, done. 6 a.m. it's 10, so 6 a.m. let's go up to 10, done. 8 a.m. is 13, so here's 8 a.m. let's move up until we find 13, which is halfway between 12 and 14. At 10 a.m. it's 15, so here's 10 a.m. let's go all the way up to 15, which is between 14 and 16. And then at 12 um, noon it's 16 degrees, so 12, there we go. And what we do now as it's a line graph is using a ruler, draw a straight line, from each point and we are done. Question 2a, how many cars were sold on Thursday? Well, here's Thursday. Let's just go up and we're, it's this dot here. Let's just check the scale. We're going up in fives. So each line, uh, each faint line is an increase of one. So if this line here is 20, it's one line beneath that. So that is going to be 19 cars. On which day was there the most number of cars sold? So which dot is the highest? It's this one here, and that is Saturday. And how many cars were there sold in total between Monday and Saturday? So on Monday, 19, Tuesday, 25, Wednesday, that's 15, 16, 17, 18. Thursday we established was 19. This for Friday is 24 and for Saturday is 34. So simply add these figures together and you get a total of 139. So we need to do a line graph for this data. So time in minutes is along the bottom, number of customers up the side. So first coordinate is zero two, so zero across and two up. So we're going up in ones. So that's gonna be there, 10, eight. There's 10, go up to 8, 20, 19, across to 20, up to 19, 30, 28, so across to 30, up to 28, 40, 33, across to 40, up to 33, 50, 32, across to 50, up to 32, there's 30, 31, 32, and across to 60, up to 35, there we go, and for the line graph, we just need to draw a line connecting all these dots with a ruler, and we're done. Question number four, what score did the student who did six hours of revision get? Amount of revision in hours is along the bottom. Here's six, go up, and we're finding it's this dot here. Um, so we're going up in 10, so each faint line is an increase of two. So if this is 60, 62, 64%. The highest score on the maths test was the dot that is the highest here, and that corresponds to, um, it looks like it's just two lines down from 90, so 88, 86%. And another student is added to the line graph who did three and a half hours of revision, estimate their score on the test. Well, three hours gives us this amount of revision and four hours gives us this amount of revision. So we can estimate that someone who did three and a half would get whatever this corresponds to here. So where we hit the line from three and a half hours, we're just gonna take that reading across and I make, well, it's hard to tell because um, it, we ideally would need to zoom in a little bit, but I would say that's 52%, but any exam board would accept a range of answers if there was any doubt. So I'm gonna to stick to 52% uh, for that one. Question number five, we need to complete the line graph. So age of phone in years is along the bottom. Screen on time, screen on time in hours is up the side. So our first point is zero, 4.5. So across to zero, up to 4.5. One, 4.1. So across to one, up to 4.1. Two, 3.6. So across to two, up to 3.6. Three, three, well that's nice and easy. Across to three and up to three. And four, 2.3. Across to four, up to 2.3. And then we just draw in uh, a line just to connect these dots. Again, user ruler would be uh, better that, 
and that doesn't look fantastic there. Use your line graph to estimate the screen on time of a phone that is two and a half years old. So what we're supposed to do is go to two and a half and just take a reading from here. However, from we can use the tables here as well. Uh, two and a half years is exactly halfway between two and three. So we'd expect it to be halfway between three and 3.6, which is 3.3. And as we go up to here, that does give us a reading, which is approximately 3.3 uh, perhaps would have been close to 3.3 if I'd actually used the ruler there.